my name's Adam, and today I'm going to show you how to operate and configure your new Rat Pack Satellite or AKS Plus. The AKS and its new baby brother, the Satellite, are designed to transmit one DMX universe each of Lumen Radio's CRMX standard to smart fixtures and wireless receivers such as the Centena. The AKS and satellite transmitters get their DMX signal via ARTNET or SACN protocols from a network source on Ethernet or Wi-Fi, or if you have an AKS Plus, via a direct DMX input. And this signal is in turn provided by a source such as an iPad, PC, or console. You can basically have as many receivers as you'd like connected to a transmitter, though each is limited to 512 individual channels, a single DMX universe. If you happen to need more channels, there's a few easy ways to link several satellite or AKS transmitters together, which I'll show you later. Both AKS and satellite have LEDs which indicate their modes and activity. From top to bottom, we have the CRMX link button and its status LED. The DMX LED, which indicates an active, properly configured source and can be used for troubleshooting. And the Wi-Fi LED, which indicates the device's Wi-Fi and network mode. Moving downward, we have the power button and power LED, which also indicates system activity. At the bottom are the charging and battery status indicator and the low battery indicator. New to the satellite, the user can now choose a custom internal LED color as an identifier. This color will be reflected in all compatible TMO2 based receivers such as Centena 2 and Moonlight. To start, I'm going to show you how to use the satellite in a basic configuration with the Luminaire app on an iPad. First, turn on the unit by holding the power button until the unit illuminates. Some of the lights will blink intermittently as it starts up, indicating activity, but it should be booted up within about 5 or 10 seconds. Make sure the Wi-Fi LED is glowing solid, which indicates it's in default host mode and is capable of supporting a Wi-Fi network of its own. If it's blinking in some way, just triple-click the power button and give the unit 10 or 15 seconds to reconfigure itself before continuing. Once the unit's ready, make sure your fixtures are powered on and DMX addressed and that their receivers are unlinked. On most receivers, including the Centena, this simply involves holding down the link button until a nearby status light stops flashing. Press the link button on the AKS or satellite and the unit will take care of the rest automatically. They'll be linked once the blinking stops. Keep in mind, Every unlinked receiver that's powered up and in range will also be linked at this time. Linked receivers will stay linked until you tell them not to be. You'll be able to mass unlink from the transmitter by holding the link button for three or more seconds, and every linked fixture in range will unlink. Now you'll want to get out your iPad and go to the Wi-Fi settings screen. Find Rat Pack AKS on the list. Enter Quiet On Set, no caps, no spaces. Once you're connected, go back to the home screen, start Luminaire, and make a new project. Click the green circle at the top right and find your ArtNet settings panel. Ensure that output is enabled, input doesn't usually matter here, and that you're in subnet zero and universe zero. Generally, if you have a settings mismatch, it always happens here. Lastly, until you know what you're doing, it's best to keep it in broadcast mode. Add a slider, select your fixture, and you should be ready to go. If you're not seeing anything, use the DMX LED on the front to determine if you have signal and check your ARTNET settings. This sort of setup is best for projects with only a few lights. If you're doing anything more complicated on the iPad with multiple fixtures, cues, or even multi-universe, you'll want to try something more sophisticated like the Blackout app. 